Yeah, this is a bit of an update um, just for everyone. I have done a lot of capturing in the last few days of what happened down at um, SHOT, the Sovereign Hikoi of Truth, where um, 110, 120 people were illegally detained at the south, southern, um, they're calling it a checkpoint, but it was uh, a roadblock stopping people from going up. They tried to make out it was the it was the uh, the people that were travelling up to Waitangi's reason they they closed the roads. It wasn't. It was the police. They were the ones closing all the roads. We've seen the lady that's boasted about going through the checkpoints without even a test and getting right the way through. You know, good on her. Just goes to show how fucking incompetent the police are as per normal. Um, now, if, if, if you guys all want to jump on to, because I'm not sure how long the old um, main channel's going to last for, please jump over to Families for Justice 2020 or Pinac NZ. Um, jump over to those channels. I run those as well. I'm going to be doing a lot of uploading on those. Um, a, lot of, a lot of my old stuff, some of the series, they're all going up there. Um, uh, as far as Fair Go and Universal Imports is concerned, um, they have been trying to get a hold of Andrew Peck. Um, and of course, he's taken Brian uh, Edwards' um, opinion. Don't speak to the cunts. Now, um, Andy's gone and nominated John Murphy to talk to them. Um, but instead of answering Fair Go's questions, they had a few for them. Um, Fair Go, for some reason, don't want to answer those. Now there's been over 10 people um, that Universal Imports and John have struck that uh, have suffered some serious harm after fe being featured on Fair Go. And Fair Go might say there's only been one Broadcasting Standards Authority which wasn't upheld against them, but they tend to forget the fact that they've had John Murphy on Fair Go for at least three times, and the last time he sued them and he won $80,000 against them in court. So perhaps Gil, or Jill or whatever her name is might like to comment on that they tried getting a hold of Brian the, the head on show of Fair Go um, to get comments from him about that and, it, and strangely enough doesn't want to answer he wants to chuck them on to Gil Steve Cook an independent reporter who's also doing some stories he sent some letters and I just happen to have all of the emails which I'm going to be putting up and featuring very shortly so um yeah, I hope uh, Jill and Gil or Brian and the rest of them at uh, TVNZ's Fair Go actually pull their finger out and um, see if they actually like answering questions instead of ask, asking them. Um, because it's fucking appalling. I used to love Fair Go. I would, when I was a kid, I used to absolutely love it. But then it's turned to shit. They just go power crazy. They think they can basically crucify people um, on the court of public opinion where there is no court proceedings there's no presumption of innocence and as far as the Saban Kelly um, I mean you, you look at the emails that were sent to them they turn around and they go oh you know Saban was sent this to her phone um, you know she's feeling alarmed and distressed because people were filming outside her house and in the same email they turn around and go we were outside your business filming. What well, fucking hypocrites. Um, so, you know, everyone has the right to film in public. No issue with that. But pleading on that Sabon's the victim on this one. She's got a world-class fucking certificate for being a fucking gut whiner. And, um, you know, someone who buys a car, puts over 6,000 Ks on it in over six months, and then gets their money back, I think someone took someone for a ride there and it wasn't the car company. You know, they, they tend to be failing to mention the fact that she wrote off and smashed up the fucking loan car that Universal Imports gave them. Didn't see anything about that. But uh, yeah, you look at the email. I'm going to read it out to you. And um, 
Yeah, you can make your own decision. But they certainly didn't like um, being asked a few questions, having the tables turned. But that's about what needs to start fucking happening. You know, these so-called trusted media, all being bought off. You've got high old fucking Jacinda, who's basically creating apartheid in New Zealand through medical discrimination. Um, and yeah, and the, and the mainstream media is just, they have got their tongue so far up something else, they can tell what Jacinda had for breakfast. So, it's disgusting. Anyway guys, so please jump over to Pinnock NZ um, and Families for Justice 2020, those are other channels, subscribe, like, share, whatever, up to you. Um, but if you want to stay, keep them informed, that's what's going to be happening. Um, Kiwi Freedom, another brilliant channel. Um, you know, Jason K, New Zealand Audits, another brilliant channel. Jump onto these guys, have a look. They're doing good work out there. None your business over in Aussie, great guy. Flute Dog, Deanology over in the UK. There's lots and lots of uh, auditors over in the UK that have got their heads on right. So, um, yeah. Just a little update for you all. Don't want to keep you yakking for too long, so bye. Stay tuned. There's a lot coming. And TVNZ, Virgo, Jacinda, and the rest of the fucking authority aren't going to like much. And none of it's defamation. It's all out there in the mainstream. I'm just capturing and putting it out there. I mean, I'll show you how they do an interview, and then they just put up a couple of snippets of it, but they don't show the whole interview, like Charlene Hoheper up in uh, Waitangi. So yeah, we've got lots and lots of interesting footage. It's all coming up, um, depending on my health. Depends on how quickly I'll get them up for you, but um, rest assured, I am doing a lot of work in the background. Um, to all the people that have been ringing up, wondering and, and seeing how my health is, I appreciate your concern, guys. Um, it really does fluctuate on a daily basis. So I've had about two hours sleep. I was up until five, and then old Steve came out this morning. So um, yeah, had to visit him. So yeah, very interesting stuff. Anyway, guys, keep cool till after school. Catch you later.